Hi, my name is Nigel Rodriguez. And I'm Brian Tran. And we'd like to present to you all a GPA calculator for students at the Faculty of Engineering here at the University of Alberta. What makes our calculator unique is that we factored in parameters specific for this faculty when calculating grade point average, as well as recorded a massive course index to ease the amount of input the user needs to put into the program. Although we've tailored our program for students of the Faculty of Engineering, any student in the world can use this calculator, provided the universities calculate the grade point average on a 4.0 scale. So we'd like to invite you, the user, along for a journey in exploring our code, our pride and joy for the last two months. Come on! Our design process was based on incorporating six challenges into our program. Rather than just a simple GPA calculation taught in Eng 100 and Eng 101, we had to consider that our potential user base are students of many types. These challenges were essential to allow us to hit goals and features we wanted to program, as well as to trap any flaws and bugs that may arise from unique students. By the 17th of February, we had finished our pseudocode in Microsoft Visio. Since our program is divided into many smaller scripts executed in an order, our flowchart helped us visually focus on one script at a time, as well as help us section our code to run only in fragments to assist in debugging. On the 19th of February, we decided to use Microsoft OneDrive, the university's offering of the Google App Suite, as well as Skype to meet our collaborative needs. I think the code looks really good. I think it would make it really great if you had a while loop to it. By the 15th of March, we had completed about two weeks worth of compiling a massive list of courses offered by the faculty. This involved tracking down a list of courses from Engineering Table 2, Engineering Chart 2, our common first year student courses, as well as Section 84.5 of the University Calendar. We used bear tracks to record every course's weight. With this, we eliminated the need for the user to manually calculate their course GPA's weight and instead have it provided ready for them as the program searches and matches the course. Other than using the keyboard to input their courses, we opted to have the rest of the user's input achievable by using the mouse through Quest DLG, MSG Box, and Menu. We had to consider GPA penalties for students who claimed that they were from other schools, qualifying a second time, or having a lighter course load. With these conditions kept in mind, we would ultimately print a dialogue that would be conditional to the student's circumstances. Student information and courses were stored in a saved cell we dubbed a student profile, a type of contact card personal to each student. The data saved was their qualifying year, their course names and weight, the course terms, and letter grades received or predicted for each course. Users are given the option to save their courses via UI Save so they can retrieve them the next time they use the program, without having to tediously set up their profile again. Although we are confident that our course index takes into account every course an engineering student can enroll, we had to make a contingency program that profiles a course if need be. A user could essentially define any course assuming they have its engineering weight for their GPA calculation. Whenever MATLAB encounters an error, it will prematurely kill the script. We used a try-catch command to trap very specific errors from the structure array, but instead of killing the script, the user would be provided feedback of what they did wrong and an option to return and fix their mistake. The program we created to search, match, and return courses were prone to errors in either not finding a match or finding too many. Through intensive testing with many of our close friends, we made sure that many errors would be caught and avoided to ensure our code to be very robust. By the 19th of March, we finished our final skeleton of code. Testing was completed on the 25th of March. By the 26th of March, we had finished our course index. It's a list of every available course for engineering students as well as their engineering weight. Our program would search the user's input against this database and return corresponding data to their profile. These were six challenges we thought of when building our GPA calculator. They were the first steps in our planning for our program some two months ago. In no way was our calculator to be a simple input-output program. We wanted to consider every scenario possible for this 5,000 student faculty, so we built our program around and above these six challenges. Before we close, we'd like to thank some friends and administrative officials who have assisted throughout our project. We'd like to thank the staff at the Dean's Office, specifically Connor Harper, Raymond Mathias, and Dr. Tim Joseph, for assisting in building our course index. Marcus and Magna for being good teachers, Raza for the original music, thanks friends, and thank you, the user, for watching.